thanksgiving and I'll enter into his courts with praise and I'll bless his holy name. See, some of you checked out when Minister Steve was leading us in the worship because you didn't know what was happening. You thought it was for us. But there were those of us who had enough sense to understand that I'm not at the altar to be in the camera. I'm not crying like that to be seen. I'm not doing any of this so that folk might be in my business, but I'm dancing for the king. God, I, I wish I had a worshiping church in here, uh, that there's somebody in here who knows that I wasted enough Friday nights and Saturday nights in a club for no reason, sweating until my clothes stuck to my body, dealing with folk with bad breath, having folk step on my shoes, tired when I finally got back home. But don't you know when you dance in the presence of the king, there is no way you can go back home the same way you got here. I wonder if there's somebody who knows that the king is watching. And if this is my last opportunity, let me do my dance so that God will know for here I live and move and have my breathe. Says I, says I want to see you, want to see you dance. Because based off of your dance, you can get what it is that you want. Uh, let, let me deal with it deductively. In other words, if you don't need nothing from the king, don't dance. I, I, I think I lost you. If all of your bills are paid, please don't dance. If you don't need a new job, don't dance. If, if your supervisor ain't on your nerves, don't dance. If, if your children don't need a breakthrough, don't dance. If you don't have no sickness or issues in your body, don't dance. But if you need the king to do something for you and you want him to do it for you tonight, even if you got to turn over chairs and knock down pews and run and get in the face of God. God said, if you need something from me, you can't be afraid to dance in front of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated, please. Be seated. Look at the person beside you and tell them, I can tell you don't need anything. I, I can tell you're not in a desperate situation. I can tell your back is not up against the wall. But if you need what I need, if you've been crying the way I've been crying, if you've been under attack the way I've been under attack, can I announce the dance floor is open? You better forget about the folk around you and make up in your mind if this is my last time. I got to dance. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated, please. I'm, I'm just talking. I ain't even where I'm going yet. The Bible says in the Old Testament uh, that when David recovered the Ark of the Covenant, he's headed back to Jerusalem and he begins to dance until his wife looks out the window and says, how undignified is that? And he shouts back up to the window, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm dancing not for a car. I'm dancing not for a raise. I'm dancing, watch this, I ain't bringing sexy back. I'm bringing the glory back. God, I, I need somebody here who wants the glory back in your life I dare you to just open up your mouth and, and pat your feet and clap your hands like I need to bring the glory back mm. be seated please be seated please um. yeah says, what do you want? Whatever you want, you can have it tonight. I, I, I just missed you. Let me back that thing up. Give it to you again. Whatever you want, you can get it tonight. If you're not too shy to dance in front of the king. See, if you caught up on folk rolling their eyes and sucking their teeth, you might have to wait another six months. But if you need a miracle tonight, God said, I dare you to just dance in my face. Her problem, her, her problem, her problem, sir, was that she didn't know what she wanted. 
She didn't know what she wanted, so she had to consult with her mother. If she had known for herself what she wanted, she would have never had to ask anybody else. Huh? See, I'm, I'm talking to those of you, you don't need nobody to give you no recommendation about what you're giving God the glory for. But you got three things on your mind right now that God, if you're going to do anything, handle one, two, three, and I want God. I feel a breakthrough in this room. Look at your neighbor and say, excuse me. My dance is my deliverance. That if I give God this dance, God is going to deliver something to me before the night is over. Be seated. Be seated. We almost there. Be seated, please. The people behind you can't see. Be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't usually dance in church. I, I usually just clap my hands and I, I shout every now and again. But the preacher giving me some new information that everybody was at the party. But the only one that got delivered was the one that wasn't ashamed to dance. God, hear me, you ain't got to dance like me. Some of y'all don't even know how to church shout. So if you got to do the wop, wop it out, baby. If you got to walk it out, walk it out. Whatever you know how to do, dance. You see that? She didn't know what she wanted. And because she didn't know what she wanted, she had to ask somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you, I just feel like as we start a brand new year, you don't need nobody to tell you what to shout for. You don't need nobody to give you no recommendations about what you got to give God the glory for. It was the psalmist that said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after both night and day. Y'all better clear your heads because something is getting ready to happen. I wonder if there was one thing that you could depend on God to do by midnight and you knew with absolute certainty that my dance depended on God making a delivery by midnight. I wonder how you would dance. Can I tell you, you only got 60 seconds, but if you don't need it, you got my permission to be seated. But if you need God to do something, Thank you, God. We get ready to go somewhere. Look at your neighbor say, excuse me. May I have this dance? This might be my last shot. This might be my only opportunity. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us be seated. Be seated, please. Be seated. I'm, I'm coming around the mountain. Here I come. Be seated, please. All right. Um, the mother told him, the mother told the daughter, uh, tell the king you want John's head cut off. Now, now you got to understand and remember that this is what Herod wanted to do all along. Uh, but he was too much of a coward to do it himself. So he had to use somebody else. Can I tell you, most of your haters are punks. God help me, because what they feel about you, they ain't never gonna tell you. Oh, y'all ain't talking about it. Most of the people who got an issue with you, if you that mad man up, say it to me. Otherwise, keep it. He says he, he uses somebody else. And says, listen, what I want you to do is cut off the head of John. Now, the Bible records for us that Herod is now in anxiety. He's now in grief because he says, I'm not sure what's going to happen when the people find out. But this is what's significant for you to know is he says, I'm in a bind. Watch what the king says, because I can't break my word. 
Oh, okay, I think I lost you. He said, I can't break my word because after you danced, whatever you ask me, it don't matter what other people feel about it. I'm going to give it to you anyway. Uh, well, if I was in a Baptist church, Mark, this is point number one. God told me to tell you he can't break his word. Whatever God told you is 